Welcome to Galveston, guys. Today we're going to be exploring the island before our cruise. I'm going to take you guys along for what hopefully is a journey. Um, we've never been here before, so if you've never been here before, join us as we explore together. Let's go. But before we go around town, I want to show you the little Airbnb that we got. It's nice and it's quaint and it's not too far away from the pier. So it's not going to be too much of a hassle getting there tomorrow morning. We're going to start off right here in the bedroom. Got a nice little painting here, or it's not even little. It's a pretty, pretty big painting um, for the bed here. I'm going to get up here. It's a nice little view. Can't really see it here on the... Uh, Nice little street view right there as it focuses. All right. Nice quaint little buildings. Nice little neighborhood. Ain't too noisy too much. Uh, coming around here, just got some of my, my, my belongings right down there. A little nice comfortable seat and uh, the hat that I was sitting on. Uh, once again, here's the bed. So this is just a closet here. Jeez. Uh, <laughs> nice closet. Got some standard stuff here. Ain't too much to do. Through here is the rest of the house. Right there is my friend. All right. There's the front door. I was going to start it from there, but it's noisy out there. Here is the, the little living room here. Pretty quaint still. Solid. Pretty solid. All right. Little TV. Little fan that we don't know how to work, but it's there anyways. Nice little bathroom. You kind of have to like manangle your way here. Like here's my feet. Here's the here's the counter. You're gonna like bang your hip on it every time, so you gotta maneuver your way past it. Yeah, pretty basic shower here and a little toilet. Do your do all your business here, and then we come around to the kitchen because uh, it acts like a secondary hallway in here. It's just bathroom and there's two doors, door number one here, door number two there. And then you just have a little kitchen, nice little, little table here for all your breakfasts, all your lunches and dinners, some paintings, nice decor. And then here's just your standard kitchen stuff. There's a fridge there if you want to store anything, anything you want to cook with. It's in there, there's some glassware and some silverware and all these little cabinets and drawers and stuff so ultimately it's a, it's a pretty nice little quaint thing and not too shabby for one day but now we I think we're just gonna about to head out and we're gonna show you what's going on it's a little squirrel buddy on our travels nope he's behind the tree now oh, where is he at there he is jumping around but yeah we're outside of the Galveston Courthouse, I guess. Um, it's a pretty cool looking building. There's a nice little statue over there. Let's go around this tree here. There's some more um, plaques over there. If you're like a real big history buff, there's some plaques for you to look at if you're ever in the area. There's another one all the way over there. But it's also really just a cool looking area. Nice little trees. A um, bunch of fallen trees. So you gotta watch your step here, else you're gonna trip over over one of these things here. I learned one thing about going through Galveston. That's a lot of the curbs are pretty high up. Look at that curb right there. That curb right there next to that car. All the way up to that midpoint. So if you're walking with any luggage or bags or small children or if you're just clumsy yourself, you might accidentally trip and fall like a foot down to the ground. So that won't be pleasant, so uh, watch your step around here. Like, there's some curbs, like right over here. This ain't too far. That's like a pretty standard curb. Then you got others. That's like a solid foot down to the ground. So that's just something to think about right there.
after a while of walking, we decided to make our stop inside of this little pub restaurant thing. It's nice to play. We've got some nice Texas staples, some burgers, normal, normal bar food here. Uh, got a little menu. You can look at look at the menu. Pretty good, pretty good choices here. Nice, some nice options. Again, the place is called Hub Cap Grill in Galveston. Pretty nice. There's the uh, the other side, some fries, hot stuff, kids menu with some desserts, dipping sauces there, nice little brunch menu, some baked potatoes, hot dogs, salads, you know, just some typical nice food. All right, guys, we found a good camping spot right here at the terminal. There's no one here, so we're just going to sit here, camp out till the morning. So the last time y'all seen us was at lunch, but uh, after that, we kind of just went home, relaxed. There's not really much else that we recorded, so that's all it. But uh, until tomorrow, hopefully it's, it's a good cruise. From when you're seeing it, all of it should be out, so hopefully we all had a, had a good time together. But as of right now, that's the end of today. We'll see you after the cruise is over. Just like that, welcome to Houston. Let me show you a little tour of our Airbnb here. So you got the front door, pretty standard front door. This is like a studio apartment, so you got a little TV, a little couch bed there, and a little kitchen area with some nice decor around the outside. Move on here, there's another mirror. My hat, a little couple, couple hooks. Some little controls there. Some more little basic art. The little IKEA corner over there. Really tall window. Here's the bed. Moving on here. There's a door that basically connects um, to the other house. So like basically we're renting from. This is the guest house. So here's a little bathroom. Another mirror. And a shower. Just a uh, pretty standard stuff I'd say. It's nice and quaint and has a good little aesthetic. But now we're gonna go and walk around for a little and see what we can find. Something I've noticed about here in Texas is a lot of people drop their plants. There's a frost warning I believe happening in a few days so that's why I believe that all these people are trying to wrap everything and protect everything, all the plants, against all the frost elements. But then you just have some other folks like this that don't really wrap anything. My guess is that just the plants aren't affected for, for those ones. But I guess all these ones are. So hopefully those plants make it through, okay? basically wraps it up. 
Uh, I know that it was a little bit shorter than the previous portion, but Houston actually does not offer a lot of walkable spots that we can easily access with the amount of time that we have during the day. So unfortunately, that is the reason we will have to cut it short. Uh, we did walk to a lovely barbecue place. I'll put up a picture now of what I got, but for the price and for it all, it was pretty, pretty good and worth the not only the walk, but also the price. But for the video, um, unfortunately, that does mean it is at an end. Now, overall, for the journey, it did go from, I think, the 6th of January to the 15th of January. So it was quite some time, and truly, it was a very enjoyable journey and trip. Uh, I do have another cruise planned next year. It's a little under a year uh, as of today of me recording this. So stay tuned for that. But other than that, I hope you guys did enjoy this little, I guess, behind the scenes of the pre-cruise day and the post-cruise day. Basically just some little activities, I guess, that's outside of the typical cruise border. But yeah, guys, like I said before, if you enjoyed, Please leave a like and subscribe to join us for the rest of the journey. We love to have you here. But as of right now, guys, I'm going to have to leave it here. So until next time, take it easy.